All right, so I'm going to be doing a short video on how to upgrade this um, Dell Inspiron model 17R-5737. So first what you want to do is just disconnect the battery, make sure your computer's off. To do that, you just slide these two tabs to the sides, and then there's this little part that's raised for the battery. You just pull it up, and it comes out like that. To put it back, of course, you just put it back this side first, and then just push it back down. Okay. So take out the battery. Usually to be safe, I'd recommend holding the power button for about 15 seconds just to drain any power. But you usually don't have to worry about this when you're just changing the hard drive and the RAM. Um, I'm just going to do it anyways just because it's good practice to do that. So if you do anything else or if you drop anything on the board, you won't cause any damage. Alright, so after you do that, <clears throat> if you want, you can take out the CD drive. Um, there's this one screw here holding it in place. I'm not going to do a complete disassembly because my customer needs their computer back quick and they just need the hard drive upgraded. So we will do that. All right. So that's how you remove the CD drive. If you want, these can be replaced with um, hard drive uh, caddies. So you can actually put an SSD here and then put another hard drive in the CD slot, but you'll have to buy it. I believe this is a 12 millimeter. Let me get a ruler and double check. So we'll measure this. Actually, actually, this is like nine. Hmm. Okay. So it's like a nine millimeter thick drive. So if you do, oh yeah, the twelve millimeter. Who am I thinking that was a twelve millimeter? Well, anyways, it's a nine millimeter thick drive, or maybe it's nine point five millimeter. So if you wanted to get an adapter to put a second hard drive, that's what you'd get. It uses this SATA connector, so make sure you get that type, not the one with the pins. Okay, and also if you wanted to do that, there is, um, usually it won't come with a bezel, so you'll have to use a little needle. There's a little hole in the CD slot. Use that to pop out the CD drive, or you can just turn on the computer and do that. And then this bezel actually can be removed. It's, um, it has a bunch of clips here. It's a little tough. Usually on this part, you'd have to push this clip down and then you can pull it out. I don't want to mess with it because a lot of times these clips break. So just know that if you're going to attempt it, that you might break the clip and then you might have to actually just glue this to the replacement thing. And then of course you have to transfer over this little piece as well. So that way you can um, secure it with the screw. If you are going to attempt um, to open up this computer, I'm not going to show it, but there's a bunch of screws here. One, two, three. There's uh, some hidden ones. One, two, three, four. Sorry, that one. Five, six, seven. And then you got two underneath the CD drive slot. Um, again, I'm not going to take the whole thing apart. I'm just going to show how to upgrade the RAM and hard drive in this case. So once you take out the two screws here, you can slide your fingernails across or a pry tool underneath and then pop this cover off. All right. Then the hard drive will have two screws here. Um, I'm not sure if the one screw was missing from here or if that's just how they designed it because there was no screw there. Um, but to remove the hard drive, once you remove the two screws here, um, and if there's another one, remove that, then you can use this pull tab to kind of pull the hard drive back and then you can lift it out. All right, and then you can transfer over this bracket to the new hard drive. So I'm gonna do that with an SSD. Okay. You wanted a one terabyte SSD, so we're gonna upgrade it to a one terabyte SSD. Alright, just peel off this little sticker. Alright, so we'll be using this. Um, you can use any um, 2.5 inch SATA SSD or hard drive, but um, yeah, this one I got um, and it was a pretty good deal, so yeah. Usually the SSDs that I'll go with are depending on the price, um, so I'll list them in order of the order I'd buy them if they're all the same price. So usually I'd go Samsung and then um, SanDisk, Cru SanDisk and Crucial and Kingston are about the same. So if I were, if they were the same price, maybe Crucial and SanDisk I'd buy above the Kingston ones, but I haven't noticed any difference between the two, so it's more just because of the brand name, I guess, is a little more well-known. Um, their warranties and everything are about the same. 
Um, the one good thing with SanDisk is they're kind of a local company in my area, so sometimes I can actually get replacements locally, and I don't have to worry about um, <clears throat> about having to ship stuff over somewhere far away. Anyway, so there's how you get the bracket off. All right, get the bracket and put it on the new one. All right. If you are taking this computer apart, it's like a lot of my other um, laptop uh, disassembly videos. Um, but this one, you have to remove the keyboard. I don't know if I have a video of one of these Dell models that are similar. I, I probably do, but not 100% sure. Okay. So if you want, you can search my videos for other Dell laptops, and you'll probably end up being able to find one that's built pretty similarly um, if you're just curious on how to disassemble this. Okay. And the screwdriver I'm using, the size I forgot to mention, but it's a PH1 or a J1. Okay, there we go. And then after that, just slot it back in. Make sure it goes in front of this little uh, nudge, this little thing that's sticking up. Okay, and then you just slide it over. All right, I'm gonna put the screws back. If you are taking the computer apart, there are a couple screws under here. Um, I forgot to mention the RAM here. So this RAM, I'll take it out and let you see. <clears throat> so the RAM is PC3L12800S, so DDR3 memory. So if you get the same speed, you can upgrade it. This is eight gig stick, so it, this computer already has 16 gigs. That's way more than enough for most people. So yeah. So we're not going to do anything with that. All right. So if you are planning to take the whole computer apart, I'll flip it over and show you what the keyboard looks like. Um, because you do have to remove the keyboard and remove the screws underneath. I'm not going to take out the keyboard, but I'll just show it to you. Okay. That goes this way. All right. Pop the clips back down. In. The hard drive, um, it does need data recovery. Um, usually I find the best way to do that is to use a bootable Linux so that way it doesn't have to um, go like using Microsoft security settings and things. So if your hard drive is failing, the best way to try and access the data is using Linux so it doesn't have to add permissions to all the data. So anyways, if you are attempting to take apart the whole computer, um, so as you can see, this keyboard has these little parts that you need to pop open. Um, so for that, you would use like a thin pry tool like this, and then you would pop these out. And underneath, there'll be a bunch more screws. After you remove all those screws, then you can pop the the um, this part out. So you can see, you'd, you'd basically pull this like all my other videos. So if you want an idea on how to take it apart, just watch my other videos. There's a lot of Dell laptops and other laptops that are built pretty similarly. But um, for now, I'm just doing that quick repair. And then after that, I, I replace the hard drive with an SSD. I'm going to install Windows and then um, migrate his data over. So yeah, that's all I'm going to show on this laptop. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe because that will help me. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.